It is indeed an exciting evening. My name is Kofi Opon Lottery, and this evening I've joined you in the comfort of your home, bringing you coverage of the Guba Awards USA 2019. Your trusted station of possibilities, DNT, were there to bring you the extensive coverage of this very event, Kind could see Cosmos Energy. So our correspondent, Obaya Ejewa, was there, and then before she interviewed people on the red carpet, she had this to tell all of us. Good evening, everyone. This is Obaya Ejewa reporting for DNT News. Tonight, I am here on the red carpet for the 2019 Guba USA Award. Now, this is the first time ever the Guba has transitioned here in the United States. I am so excited to see who is being honored here in the diaspora. I can't wait to see the many folks who have been nominated, so please stay tuned. Thanks for staying with us. That was Obaya Ejewa, our correspondent. And as she promised, she gave us some interviews. Actors and actresses, and dignitaries, awardees, nominees. She interviewed all of them. My name is Kofi Oponachiri, and from the studios of DNT, this evening I am bringing you excerpts of the Guba Awards in the United States of America, Guba Awards USA 2019. Now let's go to the red carpet and see what the awardees, the nominees, had to tell us. moment for me. Um, this whole year has been sentimental for me. Oh. Just coming from never been to Africa in December, going to Ghana for the first time, returning just now for the fifth time. Say what? Oh yeah, I've been to Ghana five times since December. On my way back in November for the sixth time. I've been renamed. Um, my new name is AJ Akia Trubia. Akia, so you're Wednesday. Oh, 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 there Wednesday you go. Time. Yes. So there's so much as an African American woman I didn't know. And as far as I'm concerned, Call each other queens, but yes. you really don't even know what that means. Oh. And now I get it, and I'm walking in that power. Oh, amen. amen. God amen. bless you, sister. I want more and more to come with me. There you so go. We'll see. So let's recruit. Yes, absolutely. I know you You already started, so I know. I'm building the bridge to better, man. I'm building the bridge. Now, we're here to actually honor people who are doing excellent yes. in their community. Yes. You know, there's, sometimes you go through the journey, and you just kind of give up because your work, you feel as if it's in vain. Yes. No one is really supporting. No one is really paying attention. What advice would you give to people? at home right now watching the struggle and trying to achieve their success? I would say make sure you're doing it for yourself and your soul joy mm -hmm. and not for anyone else. Yes. Don't do it for this kind of recognition. This is kind of like a side effect of the heart and soul work. Yeah. Um, that's, that's how I feel. Yeah. I'm here presenting tonight. And as much as it would be a great honor yes. to receive a Google Award at some point, that's not why I'm doing it. I'm here to support Denta. Yes. I'm here to support the awards. I'm here to support the African-American, African relationship. And that's the real work. Yes. We have to get off of looking for the flash and oh, the floss yes. and look for the, the, the steps forward. Mm -hmm. Oh, as well, yes. a culture. That's a culture. Yeah. And we have to yeah. do it together. Absolutely. Stick in together. Absolutely. Oh, thank Absolutely. you so much, sister. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. It's an honor to have you here at the first annual Guba Award in here in the USA. I mean, isn't it outstanding? Like, seriously. About two years ago, you know, Dent and I were talking about, you know, this happening, and now to see it happen right now is just really fantastic. What do you hope to see for the future of Guba USA? You know, I love the fact that we are reaching out towards each other around the world, that we're really taking the idea of the diaspora seriously. Yes, yes. And, you know, 
we're just closing up on the 400th year of the first African to arrive on the shores, indentured or enslaved here in the United States of America. And to you know 400 years later that we're finally now just being able to say, yes. hello, my brother. Hello, my sister. I welcome you back, or I understand what it is you want. You know, it's just, um, it's just a wonderful thing. I think all of our ancestors are looking down and saying, "Okay, my that's right. Finally. That's right." Oh, it's a pleasure to have you, and I'm honored to have you here tonight. Thank Enjoy you. the rest of the evening. Oh, and may I ask what you're here for and what you're nominated for? So my name is Ajman Sentry. I'm the CEO of the Think Tank. Okay. Um, so we design socks with socks. extra symbols. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so socks. Okay, I'm thinking about you being a gentleman, but it's, uni it's unisex. It is. It okay. Is. Um, mostly for men. Oh, men. come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is our audience. Okay, okay, okay. But okay. Um, we're looking into branching into other areas as well. Yeah, you so, should. Well, we recently launched in Ghana. Okay. About a week ago. Okay. Um, we did a hard launch in Ghana at the Navida Boutique Hotel. Uh, we have approximately about 47 different designs and patterns. Wow. And the company is Adinkra Republic. You can follow us on Instagram. There you go. Uh, www.adinkrarepublic.com as well. Wonderful. And it's been great. It's it's, been great. That's wonderful. You know what? Are you, you're based here, obviously. Yes, I'm So, based here. I mean, the struggle in trying to establish a business here is real. It's real. But it's wonderful to also be recognized now. People are seeing what you do. So, you know. Africans unite, exactly. you know, what do you think about the theme for tonight, you know, people in the diaspora working, being a catalyst for innovation and growth. Well, one of the things that I, I always say is this, right, you never forget where you came from. Mm -hmm. um, one of my favorite symbols is the um, Sankofa symbol, mm -hmm. right, which means reaching back to your past and, you know, the um, and growing up there are so many things that my grandparents and my friends brought me back there that I can really look to. Mm -hmm. And the only thing we can do is to give back. Right? Yes. And to really remember where we came from. Ghana is deeply rich with some great culture. And Amen. Tradition. Yes. And I think it's time for us to showcase that. You know, in different ways. You know, you have to be innovative. You have to be mad. Right? You, know, you have to find different ways to still educate people about the symbols. Right. Those symbols carry some great wisdom, conventional wisdom. Mm -hmm. And I think we can all appreciate it in some way, somehow. Definitely. One of the things every man wears every week is a sock. The socks. So <laughs> I decided to put the symbols on the socks. Oh, very creative. Um, it's, been a, it's been a great, great, great oh, Wonderful. Uh, appreciation from the general public. Well, Ghana is very proud of you. That's right. Continue with the success and motivate people too, the youth, get them empowered. Thank you. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your evening. Uh, are you excited to be here tonight? Very excited. I feel blessed and motivated myself. Yes. With my hard work and commitment, I've been able to bring all the youth and to the U.S. for the first time. Aww. I feel it's, it's a great inspiration to me, to young people that are and others out there. So just keep working if you're out there, young like me, just keep working until at the right time. Oh, that's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful advice. Congratulations again and enjoy the rest of the show. Uh no, we are not going out yet. I, I know that you're enjoying how people are really sharing what they feel or how they feel about the whole event being you know in the united states of america for this year and you talk about something with denta today and the next thing denta makes it happen denta is acknowledging the fact that people are doing so well in the diaspora and you heard the young man says that this is the first time my hard work has brought me all the way from ghana to the united states of america this is guba awards usa 2019 and then can to see Cosmos Energy. We are bringing you this very coverage to your various homes. So at the event grounds, all attendees were so much excited about the whole event and they were just creating the picture and how they feel about being part of such an event. The nominees shared their concerns and then what they were thinking of, you know, uh, uh, what they were thinking of as in, if they are going to win the awards or not, or how they feel about Guba coming to the United States of America and New York City, to be precise, the Pierre A.Y. Hotel. So we are going to have some more interviews on the red carpet and have a couple of people share their views about Guba Awards and the fact that Guba Awards is in the United States of America for the first time in 10 years.
We are honored to be here with the Miss United States 2018. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. Oh, you're looking lovely. Thank you. And what do you understand about Guba Awards? This is the first annual 2019 Guba Awards in the United States. Really excited. I know that it was mostly in the UK yes. up to now. There's so many amazing people from Ghana, um, from political entertainers. So I'm really, really excited to actually get to network right. and actually hear all the things people are going to be bringing both in Ghana and the US. And you know, right now, this year in Ghana is the year of return. Yeah. So people are going back home to visit, to really reestablish their roots. You know, it's really nice for this award to be here to recognize people who are in the diaspora doing great things for the community. What words would you give for people who are here trying to achieve the American dream and be recognized under this award. It's really important to me. My father actually came from Ghana in the 80s. Oh, He's a high life musician. Okay. So came here and opened the door to so many opportunities for me, but always told me the importance about our culture and remembering where I come from. So it's really important that I got to see him establish the American dream by like giving me a good life. Wow. Now having this amazing title yes. because of all of his hard work and sacrifices. So I like to just say that I represent possibilities and everyone here represents that in their own individual way. And yes. it's so inspiring to be a part of it. Oh, what, what, what words of motivation would you give those people who are entrepreneurs trying to be recognized, but yet they're struggling to get to the platform they need to be. What advice would you give them? Well, beauty pageants are a little bit different than entrepreneurship. <laughs> I hope to be there one day, but yeah. one thing that I really worked on in terms of competing in many pageants for the last few years was really to embody exactly what I want to be. Sometimes we think that if we accomplish something, then we'll be happy. But if you want to be that CEO or that millionaire, walk around now like you're that CEO oh, and millionaire. And then I believe that you'll attract it yeah. to you with a lot of faith and of course, hard work. Oh, wonderful words of encouragement. We thank you so much for being here tonight. It's an honor to have you and continue to do the great work that you're doing. Thank you so much for having me. All right, enjoy the night. And you are nominated for? Creative Influencer. Great Events Influencer. Creative Influencer. Okay. Yeah. Creative Influencer. Yeah. Congratulations. And how does that feel? I mean, when we say influencer, what does that mean to you? Uh, it means you know, someone who's doing the hard work to discover all the amazing talent, particularly coming from Ghana, from the African diaspora, and black women that are sharing them with the world. Yes. So for me, it's a very special thing to be recognized by my peers and my community, because yes. it shows that the hard work has paid off. And I did not catch your name, by the way, so please, can you Larry, say it? Larry Osei Mensa. Larry Osei Mensa. Congratulations, and continue to do what you're doing, and please, be a motivator and inspirational to the youth in your community, and I'm sure you're doing just that. Yes. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Good evening. How are you? Oh, you look lovely. <laughs> and may I ask what you're nominated for tonight? Innovator of the Year. Innovator of the Year. Oh, congratulations. And how do you feel about such a platform being recognized on this wonderful Google Awards USA? First annual. Oh, wonderful. And we're so proud of you. Continue to do what you're doing. And, you know, we're hopefully, this is the first, but we're hoping for many more to come. <laughs> All right. My name is Francis Edu Ofei. Francis Adu Ofe. Nice to meet you. And are you nominated? And what are you nominated for? For Charity of the Year Award. Oh, really? Yes, and what is the charity, if I may ask? Uh, his name is the CR Foundation. And what is the CR Foundation? We, um, we take care of uh, evangelism, education, and economic empowerment in Ghana. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. Wonderful. Yes, we need people like you. Yes. Continue to do what you're doing yes, and, you know, continue to motivate people who are trying to be where you are yes, but aren't you happy the Guba Awards is here tonight I recognizing so happy. I'm so happy about that oh. I'm ready to get ready for it oh the wonderful enjoy the rest of the evening thank, thank you, you. So before the main event started, the biggest question on everybody's mind was who wins what? So the innovator of the year, the creative influencer of the year, the charity foundation of the year, and hey, the Miss United States 2018 was so much excited 
in an interview that Gupa Awards that has been held in UK for 10 years is now in the United States of America. And everybody is so much excited. But let me inform you that in as much as Gupa is celebrating 10 years, it is 400 years since the first enslaved Africans arrived in Jamestown, Virginia. So 400 years down the line, we are celebrating the year of return here in Ghana. And at the same time, Guba Award is going to the United States of America. How happy it is to have such a wonderful event. So on the night, the question is, who killed the night? Who was glittering? Who was standing? Who was shining? Let's go and look at some fashion some people rocking the African print and African wear with the beads and all that. Hey, AJ Johnson, she made it happen. Let's go. So let me inform you that my name once more is Kofi Opon Ochiri. And then Guba Awards coverage by DNT was brought to you, or is brought to you by kind courtesy Cosmos Energy. And they believe in their client and they always want to stay in touch with their client. So Cosmos Energy, by kind courtesy of them, we are bringing you the coverage of Guba Awards in the United States of America, New York City, the PRAY Hotel. Now some performances. The night was filled with fashion, performances, and Mr. Autry, Ghana's finest artist, was on the night performing, and then he thrilled all attendees, all the audience. Hey, I go for the clap the arms. Let's go and have the performance of Mr. Autry. All right, on the red carpet today, we have my one friend here, Mr. Autry. How's it going? This is my second time coming to New York. Right. So I'm feeling good. Oh, I'm so happy to see you here. What are you hoping to see tonight? Uh, actually, tonight I'm performing. Okay. Just oh, isn't this wonderful that Booba USA is here? Uh, I think this is the first time coming to New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the first time. Oh, it's great to see you. All right. Thank you.
Oh my God, Mr. Ochoa killed it. <laughs> Mr. Ochoa killed it. So this week it was all about New York City. And everybody who was at the Fair AY Hotel was so much excited, was thrilled by the performances of Ghanaian artists. I mean, it's a night of music and dance, a night to acknowledge, appreciate, and celebrate outstanding Ghanaians and Africans for that matter. But music was not left out of it. So Ghana's finest and legendary artists, dance hall artists, say, OB, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So Samini graced the occasion, gave a wonderful performance. But before then, he spoke with DNT's correspondent, Obaya Ejewa. Once again, we welcome you to the 2019 Guba Award for the first time in the USA. It is a great honor to have this award here. How do you feel about it? What is your goal for tonight? What are you expecting? Well, uh, I feel great to be here first, first and foremost, and I'm expecting uh, a well-attended event, which is already obvious around uh, the environment right, <laughs> right now, and I'm expecting to network, I'm expecting to take advantage of what we've built over the 10 years, and I'm also a proud friend of the, the, the organizers of Guba, uh, which is the entire, and it's, uh, her entire team, and I'm proud to be a part of it during this time where we're celebrating 10th anniversary and then also during the year of return where, where else we're meant to be part of everybody that's trying to bring the best attention to the continent. Right. Okay. You know what's amazing? There are so many people in the diaspora trying to achieve. I mean, many young people want to be artists and whatnot, but they find it such a hard time finding the right platform to be on. And sometimes, you know, they, they lose hope. What advice would you give to young people who are watching tonight who one day would wish or hope to get one of these awards? Well, um, to young people watching, just follow your dreams, um, keep going, don't stop, and don't listen to the naysayers. You know, if the sky be the limit, I guess somebody you would want to crack the sky over yeah. and see what's going on there. So yeah, keep pushing those stuff. Uh, that's how we got here. And we've not even stopped yet. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. It's wonderful seeing you tonight. And I understand you're performing tonight. So good luck to you, sir. Thank you.
I know that you feel the vibes of uh, Samini right there, and that he he filled all the attendees of the event this year. Trust me, you know Samini's promises and delivers. You know, Mr. Promise and Deliver. Hey, so he did it. He killed the night. So can you could see, of course, most energy. Now let's go to the auditorium, the P R A Y Hotel, and then see who won what, who took what, and then who was the man or woman of the night. So it is. Guba Awards USA 2019. Let's go to the auditorium and see the time where the awards were being given to the recipient. of our time is being written. It is up to every single one of us in here to help shape that narrative. And we can do that. We can design a future. <laughs> Awards USA are the award manufacturers of family consumer chemicals and fabric care products. They are popularly known across the nation of Ghana under the name Sasso. Influential Artist Award is Kwame Akoto Banko. Congratulations, Kwame Akoto Banko. My name is Kofi Oponotri. We are going to enjoy more of the event after this quick break. Hello, my name is Jermaine Nkrumah. For decades, leaders in Ghana have been complaining about brain drain, referring to the mass exodus of Ghanaians from 
home to foreign lands. Lately, however, that brain drain has actually evolved into what many refer to as brain gain. In other words, Ghanaians all over the world are ready to come home with their newly acquired skills to help with national development. In fact, here at DNT, we insist that there is nothing that Ghana needs done towards her development that she cannot find a Ghanaian to do, be they at home or somewhere in foreign lands. The question is, is there a role for Ghanaians in the diaspora to play towards Ghana's development? Furthermore, what are the measures in place to make it possible and easy for Ghanaians abroad to come home to help with national development? Join me every Saturday at 9 a.m. as I engage Ghanaians at home and abroad to deal with topical and relevant issues regarding how Ghanaians abroad get to participate in So the entire coverage is brought to you by Kankatsi Cosmos Energy and they say that they believe in you, you are their client and they want to stay communicating with you all the time and build a mutual relationship with you. It is Cosmos Energy that supported DNT to bring you the extensive coverage of Cuba Awards United States of America 2019 at the Pierre uh, AY Hotel in New York City. Now, after the awardees received the awards, a few of them did not hesitate to speak to Diaspora Network Television's correspondent, Obaya E.J. Waso Nicholas, took an award, and then the Foundation of Physicians and Surgeons also took home an award. Let's go and have the interview sessions of the awardees after they received the awards. Okay, we are here with wonderful people here for the Ghanaian Physicians and Surgeon Foundation. That's right. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. How does it feel to be honored? We're here? excited. We're excited, especially because of the amount of work we put into making sure the organization is functional. You know, we need more medical needs in Ghana. Right. So I know you guys are doing wonderful work here, but what are your goals for, you know, something back home? What are you hoping to bring back home? Well, this organization was set up primarily to ensure that the physicians who finish medical school, they're able to get postgraduate training. So the first goal has been achieved, which is the formation of the, um, what did they call it, Ghana College, of Ghana College of Physicians. That was the baby of this foundation. Wow. And since then, more physicians have been trained. But this time, we're looking beyond that. Okay. We want a healthcare system that Ghanaians can be proud of. You're sick, you call a number, an ambulance shows up and takes you to the hospital. There you go. And when you go to the hospital, you're going to get the care you need, and then you will leave that hospital healthy. There will be nothing like, oh, they died because there's no blood. So we're really passionate about Wonderful. that, and we're looking at that very seriously. That is a great goal, yeah. and you know what? I know it's going to be very attainable, and let's give it, what, in a year or two, maybe this will be functional in yeah. Ghana? Yes. Well, yeah. keep up the good work, and Thank once again, you. congratulations, you Thank guys. You. How did it feel walking up on that stage and receiving this beautiful award from Guba? Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal, especially to be doing this in front of His Excellency Nana Pofuado, um and all the amazing people in here. No, oh, congratulations. Really and what was what did you win for? Uh, the uh, Super Innovator of the Year. Oh, keep it up. Yes, you are you. definitely a reckon to, you know, you're doing what you need to do. Thank you. All right, you. take care. Congratulations to you guys. Thank you. Oh my. You know, it's so wonderful to see you both on this red carpet or, you know. Listen, this is the first Google Award 2019 in the USA. Yes. This is the first time Google is coming to the States. Yep. And to see my friends, my buddies here and be recognized, I am so happy for you guys. I heard that they came legally, so there's no issues with anybody being here. <laughs> I just want to make that clear, but it is an honor to see you too. So yes. we are in good company tonight. So this, I kind of make this really feel extra special to us. Oh, yeah. you are well deserving of this award. And let, let, let the audience know who you are, 54 Kingdom. Yes. And when we say 54 Kingdom, <laughs> who is 54 Kingdom? And what is 54 Kingdom? Uh, 54 Kingdom is as a brand, like our motto says, is a culture, not a brand. Yes. You know, so we're in the business of fashion, but we're also in the business education uh, always put in the continent before where we are from so the continent first uh, which is really what our ancestors fought for and it's really about taking inspiration from all the different all the pan-african communities and being able to share those stories through fashion
he has. Wow. Sharing fashion through sharing stories. stories through fashion. Fashion. Okay, sharing stories <laughs> through fashion. I love the concept, you know. But the thing is, you know what? You guys have been, I mean, doing this for how many years now? Ten, ten years yeah. now, yeah. Ten, ten years. years. Up, yeah. And how does it feel to be recognized? Because, you know, so many um, up-and-coming entrepreneurs, you know, are trying to be recognized for what they do here in the diaspora especially. And to have such a great, you know, honor to be here tonight, it speaks volume. What advice would you give to those people who are pursuing to be recognized in this diaspora? I think, don't think about so much about being recognized by other people because okay. we've been doing this for 10 years and then year in and year out has been, you know, are we gonna get an award? I think at some point, and I've been saying that that's like been the main focus, but we learned that we should just put our head down. What we came here to do was just keep on doing it day in and day out. And if we can connect with other individuals like ourselves, that's like the highest praise and award and recognition that we can get. So at some point, 10 years on the line, somebody might recognize you. Yeah. Looks like they did that today, so we're here. Oh, right <laughs> I'm so proud of you guys. Congratulations. Nicholas, congratulations. How you feel? Um, I'm feeling great. Yeah? That's a big portrait of you right there. Now you know you're a role model now. So what advice would you give to young youth just as yourself? I would say that um, they can do anything they want if they put their mind to it. And uh, they should really try to learn big words. It'll take them far in life. That's a good advice. And how can they start to learn big words? by reading dictionaries. Okay, well congratulations. Tonight we are so proud of you and continue to do everything that you are doing right now. Again, congratulations. Thank you. So that's it. We wish that we could spend the whole night enjoying what happened in the United States of America. But hey, Kankat Sea Cosmos and Energy, we brought you this extensive coverage of Cuba Awards in the United States of America 2019 at the Pier AY Hotel in New York City. A very big thank you to our correspondent, Obaya Ejewa, and the entire crew for helping us bring to you in your, the comfort of your home, this extensive coverage of the entire event. And then we say a very big congratulations to all the winners of this year's awards of Cuba in the United States of America, as Ghana is celebrating 400 years, the year of return of which Ghana is hosting. Cuba is also celebrating 10 years. And for that matter, Cuba Awards is being hosted in the United States of America for the first time and we hope that just as everybody showed excitement and was proud of the fact that Guba Award has now come to the United States of America, next editions in the United States of America are going to be greater and greater. My name is Kofi Opon Autry and a very big thank you to the entire crew here in Ghana and then we all applaud organizers of Guba Award, Denta Amwati and the entire team. A very big thank you to everybody who made it a success. I'm Kofi Opon Autry, it's DNT, all possibilities. <laughs>